Hello, I'm Grace, and welcome to the Patty Morning Show. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Patty Panthers. You may now be seated. Here's today's encore schedule. I hope you have a great day today. Now let's go to Mr. Luciotti to see what he has for us today. All right. Good morning, everybody. Here we are, Element Wednesday. I hope it's going to be a great one for you guys. In fact, you need to make it a great one because you guys control the type of day that you have. Never forget that. Also, those element points are in your power. You got to check out the race right now. It is incredibly close. Like the last time I looked last week, I think there were two or three points that separated first place and second place. And overall, it's like 100 points that separate last place and first place. So point is, it's the closest we've ever had it. It's anyone's game, but it's up to you to earn those points. But guess what today, guys? It's also up to some of your teachers because we have four awesome teachers joining us this morning, ready for an element challenge and ready to earn 10 points for their element. First up, we have representing Earth, Miss Comer. <laughs> For I think her third time here, I believe, right, Ms. Gomer? Yep. All right, nice. She's a pro, guys. You hear that? She's a seasoned pro. You guys got to bring it. Representing water, we have Miss Spear. What's up, Miss Spear? Yeah. So, boys and girls, Miss Spear took over for Miss Jenkins, and she's doing a phenomenal job. Now she's representing water, ready to earn some points for you guys. Representing air, we have Miss Anderson. What's up, Miss Anderson? High fives all around. And representing fire, we have Miss James. What's up, Miss James? Ready to do this? Yeah, I'm not convinced. You got to represent, Miss <laughs> James. You got to represent. All right, guys. So here's the game for you today. The game is called Five Second Rule. So how this works is each of you are going to have eight separate turns. You're going to go individually and you're going to have five seconds to guess three things in your category. So I'm going to give you a category and you're going to have to guess three things in that category within five seconds. High pressure situation. <laughs> but ladies, we are Patty Strong. We, we take on challenges. They don't make us nervous. We just rise to those challenges, right? Right. 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 That's right. All right. All right. So here we go. Let's start off with Miss Comer, our seasoned veteran of <laughs> element challenges this year. Miss Comer, I like to think this is an easy one. We're going to start off easy for you. Are you ready? All right. Five seconds. I will be keeping the time. As soon as I say, I'm going to say go at the end of the category that your time starts on go. Okay. Name three types of salads. Go. Caesar, romaine mix, spring mix, and um, taco, taco salad. Ah, I was over five seconds, Miss Comer. That was six seconds. I thought you had not it. You might have the spring mix, romaine mix. I'm not really sure where you're going with that. I don't know either. All right, but hey, it's tough. It's a tough game, right? I get it. I get it. All I'll right, no salad. points. <laughs> eat more salad. <laughs> No points on that term, but I haven't lost faith in you, Miss Comer. I haven't lost faith in anybody. Miss Spear, are you ready to bring it? First I'm element ready. challenge ever. All dun, right. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see how familiar you are with this state. Miss oh, Spear, boy. in five seconds, name three cities in the state of Pennsylvania. Go. Philly. Oh, your time is up. Oh, my goodness, Miss Spear. She named the most important one, though. She did know, name the right? most important one. If you would have only said Pittsburgh and that was it, I would have been very yeah, disappointed. I, I knew better. <laughs> I was going to say how to have to work on some Pennsylvania geography with Miss Spear. Harrisburg, <laughs> Gettysburg, Pittsburgh, lots of birds. I think it was like a driving through there. Bethlehem, <laughs> I don't know. Bethlehem would have worked. That would have worked. Mm -hmm. All right, no <laughs> points yet. Miss Anderson, are you ready? Not if you're going to ask me about Pennsylvania. This one's tough. So, uh, but 
I just, I saved it for you. Uh Three things that you can pop. Three things that you can pop. Go. A plume, bubble wrap, and gum. Ooh, Ooh. boom. Nice. Not as hard as I thought. There is a point for air right there. Nice and done, Miss Anna. Nice and done. That was awesome. That was really All good. All right, Miss James. <sighs> okay. <laughs> you can wait for go, too. I give you a second to think if you haven't noticed. But that's nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Miss James, name three things that are free. Free. Go. The dollar store. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll stop. We're gonna stop there for a second. Start over. Stop there for a second. <laughs> the dollar store this weekend. That's Let's I'm make sure that. you understand the category. <laughs> free means something you don't pay for. Okay. Dollar store is very close to free, but it's still a dollar. All right, here we go. Three things that are free. Go. Family, friends. Um. Uh, time. That's tough. Oh, that's yeah. a hard one, RJ. I'm like, <laughs> love. love. Smile love is free, but I felt like I kind of hit those with family and friends. Dollar store. That might have been the response of the year, Miss James. <laughs> I love perfect. it. I love it. That perfect. makes the highlight real. <laughs> I'm not even going to edit that out. <laughs> edit that All out. right. Back to Miss Comer. <laughs> oh, goodness. Miss Comer, you need oh. this to tie Miss Anderson and have the potential to win, okay? Okay. All right, Miss Comer. Name three animals that have two legs. Go. Two legs? Bird? I don't know. Bird? But you're, <laughs> but you're at seven seconds. <laughs> so I like the like yeah. yeah. Kangaroos, flamingos. I think those have two legs, too. They have, like, paws. Like. No. Well, No. <laughs> Two legs. Those are like arms. <laughs> they walk on two legs. Okay, I I, I just saw only two eggs, two legs, and no arms at all. I had a different <laughs> visual. So I was getting stuck on that one too. I will give you that because I'm like, that's awesome. Kangaroo has like. The that's awesome. It's supposed to be. I don't feel bad about Philly now. I don't. I really don't. All it's right. Good. Unfortunately, Earth, you have no shot at winning, but it's okay. <laughs> you did a great job, Miss Comer. Sorry, Earth. Miss <laughs> Spear, back to you. Oh, okay. All right. Name three things that are white. Clouds, ice, snow. Yeah, nice. You just squeeze that in there. Very nice, Miss Spear. Very nice. I can feel the tension. Just, <laughs> just get out of your body. All right. One point for water, one point for air. I'm going to go to Miss James here next because I want to see if we're going to end up with a three way tie. Okay. Miss James, you have to get this one right if you want to tie and have a chance to win. This is pretty funny, too. Let's see if you catch this. Uh, okay. It's quick, pure coincidence, Miss James. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Name three things that start with the letter E. Go. Um, elephant, eraser, and earth. All right. Nicely done. And your name. That's where I thought you were going to go with it. But no. You didn't even need it. You didn't even need it. Nice, nicely done. All right. So here's what we're sitting at. We have water with one point, air with one point, and fire with one point. So, Miss Anderson, if you get a point in this category, you will win. Oh, if you great. do not, we will have a three way tie and a tiebreaker. Miss okay, Anderson. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Oh, that's the tiebreaker. All right. We'll get there. Miss Anderson, name three U.S. capitals. Go. Um, Jefferson City. Oh my gosh, that's hard. Washington. Uh, time. Tiebreaker. I'm going to give you one category. I'm going to try to listen to three people at one time and see mm-hmm. who can name the most in five seconds. Okay. Remember, it's on go. Name as many. U.S. capitals as you can. Go. Washington, Washington D.C. Richmond. Yeah, Jeff City. Oh. Richmond, oh. Virginia. Um, Time. I'm giving a tie to both oh. air and fire. Oh. I'm going to at least say you name two of U.S. capitals. All the nice. fifth graders are yelling at us right now. <laughs> Nicely done. Yes. We're going to go study maps at our next app meeting. I'll be back. <laughs> and money. 
10 points for air, 10 points for fire. Ladies, nicely done. Boys and girls, that is not an easy game at all. Um, I challenge your teachers to challenge you guys. This is great review game right here, teachers. So I challenge them to bring this to your classrooms and see if you could do it. Because I guarantee you're sitting there like, I could have done that. I don't think so. so challenge on. But nicely done, air. Nicely done, fire. All of you guys, thank you so much for having some fun and being good sports. All of you out there, don't forget what I said at the start of this. You control what your day is going to be. So go make today great. Earn some points for your element. Do it together because together we are Patty Strong. Go have a great day.